Hey guys, it's Mr. Holiday Guy here. And this video is for David's TV again. Um, here is my crop, one of my props. He's, he's about five feet, um, five and a half, something like that. He's five something, five. He's about maybe five two. Um, he glows in the dark. It's pretty nice. Um, I didn't use him last year, but I am using him. Last year I tried screwing up freaking. Um, well, I shouldn't say freaking, but like he freaking. Oh my god! I said I wasn't gonna say it. Again. I'm not gonna say it this time. But he, his head cracked. Something stupid. I freaking. Oh my! I put a screw here, thinking it was gonna go on the wall, and said it cracked his head. Which I think it looks cooler now. Um, this is one of my decorations I used for the oak entrance last year. Everyone enjoyed it except like freaking. Oh my god, I say freaking too, too much. Um, here is the thing I hang up. It's pretty nice. I got a lot of stuff. I even got this. This is probably one of the coolest things I have. Changes color. Didn't even pay much for them either. It's a little cool decoration for my uh, for my haunt. Here is one of the here's the two mouse toys. They look like freaking oh my! They look like flipping. Cat toys, man. Flipping. I'm gonna say flipping from now on. They look like flipping cat toys. Huh. Here's more signs. I just got, I got these last year. Danger. Keep out with a cat on it. Now, I could use these for a witch theme, which would be actually a good idea. The witch area, I could put these, and then I'm going to put a sign that says there's a witch in here. If you want to come see her, come right in. And when people come in, it's going to be, well, I shouldn't even put a sign there. I'm just going to put a freaking, a flipping, a flipping. I'm not going to say what I just said. I'm going to say flipping, a flipping witch. I'm just going to put this. And there's going to be a cat on it to give them a little sign of a witch scare. Now the witch did scare some people because it's loud. This thing is loud. And I mean loud. Like, it's really loud. I have disco lights on. It makes it look cool in here. I got a Freddy Krueger glove that broke. It's from Spirit Halloween, but it was only cheap, cheaply made, but it didn't last very long. Um, trying to get the ones that had the metal on them and they make that Freddy Krueger noise, you know, the one from the movie. Well, it sounds exactly from the movie, so I want to get that one. I'm getting the 2010 version. That one is really cool. It has, like, really cool stuff. Do you know what Spirit Halloween should really make? And I don't think they ever made one. The Exorcist prop. They, if they don't make that, dude, that's going to suck. Um, they did make a ghost face prop. Well, it's made by Jemmy, and they had a Frankenstein prop there, too. Now, I don't know, the, I don't know what they should do this year, but they gotta do something awesome. Because one of their props doesn't really, people expect it, right? It's a candy dish with a scarecrow. I really want him, and he goes, uh, and then puts his, uh, and puts his head back down. He's a scarecrow, he has a candy dish, you put his hand in his dish, he'll go, wow, he'll like put his head up really fast and scare you. It's really cool. These. This one's my favorite, it has skulls on it. I got it, I think, at Walmart. Got this from the dollar store. It has spider webs on it, and spiders. Um, now, what I was thinking of doing this year is making a haunt, and when you come out of the haunt, I'm going to be sitting there with a bowl of candy, right? And I'm gonna put if you if you're scared to go in, just come get some candy. But if you want to go in first and then get some candy when you come out, that's fine. I think 
like having the go having people def go in the haunt and then get their candy. That would be awesome. Maybe like an adventure haunt. Sort of. But now this is going up here somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where yet. If you're wondering what that room noise really loud noise is, that's one of my disco lights. Don't worry, you're not gonna hear it because I'm gonna have music in the background. You're not gonna hear um, that noise. I think it says. What does it say? I don't know what it says. <laughs> it says something. It says three things. Um, now this. I was thinking of getting a zombie prop, some zombie props, and like putting the zombie prop where the zombie sign is so when, you know like it's just gonna be really cool and when I get a job I'm thinking when I turn like 20 or something like that I'm gonna get a job so I can make my own learn how to make my own Halloween props you know the punematic props something like that and like they can pop right up really fast like those air things those air things that put the pole that have the air with two like that and then like spray as air right or something like that. I want to learn how to make my own props. And here's a spider with a whole bunch of webs on it. <laughs> I just put the webs on them. Um, here's the tabletop, which is actually a really nice tabletop. I used this last year. You know what? It smells like Halloween Central kind of. Um, I got this at Spirit Halloween in Moncton. Pretty cool. Cool stuff. I have a fog machine in here. Uh, can't take it out because, you know, when it comes to Halloween though, I'm going to show you all guys how, how it works, you know. It's a good fog machine. It works well. I had one used, right? The button thing, like the switch button thing, it had a big crack in it, like a big hole in it. We turned it on. The fog was like wasn't even going out far like and then we start smelling smoke from the fog machine we turned it off took the fog liquid out put it in the bucket bottle again put it back in the freaking I'm making a video sorry I was about to say take a break Um, near May or something like that, the Halloween, well, Halloween store is getting these new props for Halloween, and she'll probably be putting them up, maybe at, and on school break, like, until I go to high school, June, when I graduate this year, she'll probably put them up near June or something, because, you know, that's when Halloween's usually Sometimes June, that's when Halloween start, stuff starts going up. Sometimes it's rare for it not to, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I also got more stuff here. Um, I'll show you that when it comes time to put my hot ready. So, anyways, I'll go now. Right, see ya.